All right, the beat rolls on. BYU playing Memphis in the Miami Beach Bowl. And Jeremiah, for final game for Christian Stewart, and he's been waiting a long time, only a short time as a starting quarterback. Yeah. But, man, has he been impressive. He's exceeded expectations, and in my opinion, it, I, he's been terrific. Yeah. And his numbers are great, and he's had a great season so yep. far in filling in for Taysom Hill. Christian Stewart will be the starting quarterback for BYU in the Miami Beach Bowl, a fact that seemed improbable just months ago. He was told for years that he wasn't good enough. Scholarship offers never came, but the lifelong BYU fan from Orem refused to quit. I sat down with Christian this week to learn why he never gave up on his dream. I've never really been one to let someone tell me I can't do something. If they say I can't do something, I really make it my goal to prove them wrong. Christian Stewart had the same dream of many young BYU fans. I knew I wanted to play quarterback. I just loved the atmosphere at BYU, 64,000 fans in the stadium. and. That's, I mean, that was my dream. That's what I wanted to do. The Orem native passed for 5,264 yards and 54 touchdowns at Timpanogos High School. But the offers never came, including his dream school, BYU. I knew that I was good enough, and so I wasn't scared of the competition. I knew it would be a long road, but I felt like if I paid my dues, that eventually the, the opportunities would present themselves. He walked on at BYU before serving an LDS mission. When he returned, there was still no scholarship available. So he went to Snow College, where he threw for 2,800 yards and 37 touchdowns, leading the Badgers to a bull win. I finished second in the country in touchdowns, um, was the second-rated quarterback, and no offers came. Not one Division I scholarship came. The coaches were down at, at my best game at Snow. I had 450 yards, five TDs, and the BYU coaches were on the sideline and didn't say a word to me. I was bitter. That's the best way to describe it. And so for me, I was just going to do school. I was going to get an accounting degree and just worry about my future as far as my career went. He returned to BYU, but just as a student. That was until he ran into BYU strength coach, Jay Omer. He cornered me after Sunday school. I still remember everyone had left and he, he cornered me and told me, hey, we need you back on our team. We need three quarterbacks that can run this new offense. We only have two. I'm going into the coaching staff tomorrow and telling them we need you back on our team. He was back with the Cougars and served as a scout team quarterback as a junior. Before his senior year, he was offered an internship opportunity with an accounting firm in Los Angeles. It would have paid him $10,000, but he gave it up for one more chance. The chips have always been down for me. I've always been the underdog. I wasn't recruited out of high school, wasn't recruited out of snow, and it's just been fight, fight, fight for me. And I don't mind that. All I need is my brothers on the team. Finally on scholarship, he entered his senior year as the backup to Taysom Hill. Trying to stretch it out to the right side, gets to the edge, but not all the way around the corner. Uh-oh, yep. When Taysom went down against Utah State, the opportunity he'd been waiting for for so long was finally his. At that moment, I was so grateful for my preparation. I knew that I had gained the respect of my teammates, and I knew that I had prepared myself in a way that I could be successful. He's passed for 2,090 yards with 22 touchdowns and three interceptions and seven starts, leading the Cougars to four straight wins, including a come-from-behind victory over Cal. Christian Stewart over 400 yards. He didn't follow the conventional path to becoming the starting quarterback at BYU, but through his challenging journey, he's learned an important lesson he wants to share with others. There's nothing that you can't accomplish in life. It's just how bad do you want it? How hard are you willing to work, especially when the chips are down, when people are turning their backs against you, telling you you can't do it? Are you going to give up? I mean, there have been a lot of guys in front of me that have transferred and left and it opened the door for me because I wasn't willing to give up. I was going to compete my hardest and hope for good things to happen, and that's usually what happens when you lay it all out there and you work your hardest.